If you're hard stuck in low elo and blame elo hell or your teammates, you need to get that thought out of your head faster than you can exit a lobby with Yasuo mid on your team. I'm JC, and this is how to consistently solo carry in low elo. But before we start, I would like to quickly thank ProGuides for sponsoring this video. A lot of people have been messaging me that they've been on a losing streak and they ask, how do I start winning? I always respond, go to ProGuides.com which has the best videos on getting better at League. They have courses with pro players, champion tier lists, matchup stats, tools, and a 24-7 challenger coach who you can talk to at any time. And they really work at getting you to a higher division. It's everything you need to get better at League all in one place. I highly recommend it, so check it out, link down in the description box below. In order to start winning 80 to 90% of your games like a smurf, you need to start thinking and playing like one. So how exactly does a smurf think when he goes into a game and why should you even listen to me? Well, if you have been following my channel, you will know I have posted many high elo games all the way up to challenger elo. But due to popular demand, only the low elo videos gained much better traffic which led me to create a bronze to diamond series, where I started from the bottom of bronze and ended diamond 5 in season 8. All of this is conveniently packed into a playlist for you guys to follow along long, free of charge. So this is clearly not a fluke, that I can consistently win games and have a much easier time in Bronze 5 or Iron 4 than I would be able to in High Elo. Reason I say this is because I get a staggering amount of comments with people who are convinced that lower Elo you go, the harder it is to get out, also known as Elo Hell. But this is simply not true and dare I even say, it is quite the opposite and I'm here to change your minds. If you don't believe me, I'm currently working on an Iron 4 to Diamond series with episode 13 marking my 16 game win streak. The point I'm trying to make here is, the information I'm about to share with you guys just works. If you don't believe me, you can check out the playlist for yourself where I walk you through each game that I play all the way through to Diamond. I'll have the links down below. A key thing to note is, the only difference between a hard stuck low elo player who spent the last 5 years blaming the teammates and a high elo diamond master or challenger smurf is simply just their knowledge about the game and willingness to self improve. In this video I'll be teaching you how to stop blaming your team and start self improving. Truth is, you have the power to solo carry in low elo and it is shockingly easy to do so. So let's get started with the biggest thing that separates a smurf from a low elo player. Which is also the secret as to why I can first time any champion, my comment section picks for me in each episode and I always manage to do really well in low elo. It all comes down to the fundamentals. Believe it or not, you can solo carry bronze and iron games just by having good farm alone. Farming efficiently and reaching up to 10 CS per minute while not dying sets you up to be the strongest member in the entire game regardless if your team feeds. Remember, every 15 minions translates to roughly 1 kill. So if you're a top laner and you see that 10 and 0 enemy ADC who can't farm minions to save his life, he's actually weaker than you the top laner with 0 kills and 200 farm. Remember, the lower elo you go, the more you will find that nobody's farming minions efficiently, they have no idea how strong their champion is or how to end the game properly. It is for this reason you'll find low elo games lasting upwards of 40 minutes up to an hour. Just to give you a quick comparison, the average high elo game lasts anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes. So why is there such a huge discrepancy? And the answer is because of macro play. Let me give you guys an example of a game winning macro decision. You catch and kill the enemy jungler, immediately head towards Baron, have a pink ward down to deny Baron vision, which baits the enemy into a 5v4. Your team wipes them out, takes Baron, you guys have pretty much won the game from there. A simple macro play like that alone can end the game before 30 minutes. But if you are in iron or bronze, nobody has that sort of macro knowledge so you won't even need to worry about this. What you can do is just start working on getting that 10 CS per minute without giving away any kills. And after your second or third back, you'll have purchased enough items to single handedly take over the entire game. Okay, so maybe it's not that easy. Perhaps laning is not your strong suit and getting those minions proves quite difficult with a lane opponent trying to fight you. So in order to combat that, this part takes a little bit of time but building up that game knowledge on each champion you encounter will help you tremendously in reaching your consistent CS goal. This just comes down to being genuinely curious, doing some research while trying to self-improve after encountering each new champion in your games. Think back to that hard stuck thousand game bronze player that spent the last 5 years blaming his teammates and couldn't climb out. Remember, it's all about the quality of your learning experience rather than the quantity. In short, practice CSing and reading up on enemy champions will tremendously help speed up the learning process and accelerate yourself to that consistent CS goal. The key here is consistency, being able to do this every game. So now that you have knowledge of lane matchups and you farm really well, what's next? Honestly, you can already win most games from here. But if you are still struggling or you haven't quite mastered farming yet, 
Then here are some more things you can simultaneously work on to improve. The first thing that comes to mind is good macro play. These are predetermined rules that you must follow in order to be most efficient in pushing a lead and closing out the game. Macro play can be broken up into two parts, wave management for early game and rotations for mid to late game. I've included a short but very detailed lane management and rotations video that you can follow. The link is in the description and in the top right hand corner of this video right now. Alright, so now that you understand how to CS well, you know exactly what your lane opponent does, you have solid macro play, what else can possibly stop you from solo carrying a bad team? The last thing I can think of is your champion pool. Let's say you're a Garen main in low elo with a respectable win rate, but whenever you get auto filled, you play Yasuo mid and feed your face off with a 30% win rate, and that juicy pocket pick jungle Lee Sin with a 40% win rate. Well, it goes without saying that if you simply play Garen the whole time, you would have been in a much higher elo. So how can we solve a common problem like this one? Well, for starters, stay away from Lee Sin and Yasuo until you reach challenger. Honestly, just don't play Yasuo. No, but in all seriousness, stay away from mechanically difficult champions. Stick to ones that consistently get you good CS and low deaths every game, and I guarantee you will immediately see results. Now, let's say you have perfect CS, you're a god at lane management, and your mid to late game rotations are on point. You know exactly what every champion on the map does, their item power spikes and levels compared to your own, but you still somehow lose games while playing like a god. Let's face it, in low elo, the blame your team card will be pulled for one reason or another. But you know what, you have nothing to worry about, because I have a solution for that as well. Take a look at my Iron 4 to Diamond series, and in particular, check episode 9 and 12. I have the most shocking teammates in that game, and they were essentially non-existent and could very well have been AFK without changing the outcome of the game. And yet, I still managed to pull through a victory. So remember, do check the series out, because I explain everything I do, why I make those decisions in each given situation, and much more. The more episodes you watch from my series, the easier easier it is for you to identify a pattern that I'm following to win even the most difficult of games. So this video is extremely packed with every tiny bit of information and resource you could possibly need. If you found this helpful in any way, shape or form, be sure to drop a like. If you love my content, consider subscribing or even becoming a Patreon. And with that, I hope to hear from you guys following through and reaching your rank goals. Cheers.